years ago, we ran an early learning program that was housed in a building by itself. It wasn't part of a school, but by itself. And as time went on, we began noticing um, strange things were happening. Doors wouldn't close or open. It stuck. The windows that were open, we couldn't get closed. And the windows that were closed, we couldn't get open. Troublesome. So we called in a structural engineer to look at the building. The engineer came in and did whatever engineers do and said to us that the building was sinking. All right, what do we do? Well, what you do is you mud jack the building up. For those of you who might not know what mud jacking is, they, they, they blow mud or slurry under the building, which that raises it up. So we did that. Guess what? It was great. The windows would open, the doors would open and close. The cracks that were in the wall began to close and we patched them all up, everything was fine. So we went on for a while and uh, a couple of three, four years later, started noticing the walls were cracking. The doors were still. <laughs> the windows were hard to get up. Called the engineer back, said, what do you think's happening? And she said, well, the building is See? Wait a minute, I thought we, she said the buildings. So they mud jacked the building again, and she said, don't worry about it, everything will be fine. Well, she was four years right. Everything was fine for four years. After the four years, we started noticing cracks again, and you know when little kids are playing with balls or marbles on the floor, you know, they would push them to the, and it would go like this. That was the curve of the floor sinking. In any, in any event, she came back. I said, look, you've got to tell us what's going on here. And she said, oh, it's very simple. The building does not have a substantial, strong foundation. And it will continue to sink without a strong foundation. Now, you all recognize these four people. What they had in common was each of the presidents had an educational reform agenda. We're going to fix public education in our nation. Well, guess what happened? They were all unsuccessful. And the reason is, like our ability, educational reform at the national level will keep sinking. They will not have long-term change. They will not have change that's widespread because it's sinking. And the reason it's sinking is that our nation hasn't paid attention to building strong foundations for our children so that when they knock on the schoolhouse door, they are prepared to learn. Let me give you some, some information. About a third of the children who knock on the schoolhouse door at age five are unprepared. They lack vocabulary skills, language skills, social emotional skills, and self-regulating behavior skills, all of which are critically important for success in school. And if you're poor, about half of you knock on the schoolhouse door at age five unprepared. Some of those children never catch up. I also want to tell you that about 20% of children before the age of three suffer serious toxic stress. Stress that we know because of the research done by our colleagues at the Harvard Center for the Developing Child actually impinges neural development. And that happens because of extreme poverty, child abuse, neglect, violence, parents who do, do drugs or substance abusers, or have mental illness problems. Some of these children never bond with adults. So they obviously don't have a strong foundation. The other thing I would like to share with you, in, in urban America, big cities, about 25% of the third graders read at the proficient level or better. I know, I know you're all good. Holy cow. 
Wow, that means 70 buyers. Don't. That's right. That's what it means. Now, you need to know that from birth to grade three, you learn to read. From fourth grade on, you have to read to learn. What happens to children who can't read well? Well, I'll tell you part of it. I read an article just three days ago in the Washington Post by the Los Angeles County Sheriff, who, by the way, runs the largest prison system in the United States. He says 60% of his inmates can't read. Now, we can do better as a nation. You all can help us do better to be able to make sure that every child who knocks on the schoolhouse door is ready to learn, has the language necessary to learn, self-regulating behavior. We know that we can do that. The reason we know we can do that is because we know that babies learn from birth. We know that 90% of the brain growth happens from birth to six years. Look at just the difference in neural development from a newborn to a six-year-old. If we pay attention to those years, we can make a big, big difference. And the difference we can make is really building better neural pathways, more strength here. I want to suggest a couple of ways that you can help. First, we know again from our colleagues at the Harvard Center for the Developing Child that little infants talk to us. They serve us lots of things. And what we need to do is respond to those things. We know is that they serve us and we need to respond. It's think about tennis. You know, you serve the ball, you the ball that. Right. Serve in return. So I want to give you an example of this. I'm a little infant. And I serve my parent or caregiver something. I'm going to show you. Uh, and then my parent or caregiver could look back and return it and say, oh, So, serve and return. Now we're going to try that on the infant. You're the caregiver. Are you ready? I'm going to serve you something and you need to return it. Are you ready? Uh, uh, Very good. Let's try one more. Very good. You get that. Serve and return. We know that it builds strong neural pathways when you serve and return. I had a dad tell me one time, I don't talk to my kid because my kid doesn't talk back. So, well, you know, I, I understand what you said, but let me reframe it for you. And here's the reframe. The reframe is your baby is thinking this. Well, I keep talking to the guy and he doesn't answer me back. I say, I'm good, and he walks away. I say, Baba, Baba, and he walks away. He's not answering me. So guess what the baby does eventually? Stops serving. Serving return. When you do that, when you talk to, read to, play with young children, you are building your own path. You are helping them be prepared to enter school at age five and be successful. Now, I want to show you this one. Take a look at that. I know some of you are already shaking your head. The red line is brain development. That's how the brain develops from birth all the way on up. Now, let's take a look just right here. This black line is what we spend in public money for education. If I were to say to any of you, we want to help kids do better, is this the way we should spend our public money? No one would say yes. So we need help from you, the youth of our nation, who are going to be the parents, the leaders, the policy makers of the future, to help get that straightened out and correct, so that the money follows the brain development. The idea that I want to spread is that school reform begins with Agu. It does. 
it doesn't begin with throwing billions of dollars at a mediocre school system or a mediocre national school system. So I will say to you in closing the words of President Kennedy, ask not what your country can do for you, but ask what you can do for your country. And what I say to you is that ask can be, help us grow kids who may not in the school house are prepared to succeed.